Hi, my name is Precious Osika. I write, edit, publish, teach you how to write and get paid. I create amazing videos and voiceovers. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much for watching my videos. And if you're new to my channel, you are very much welcome. And please do well to subscribe and do not forget to turn on the notification uh, bell. The prompt before Team Atta Group B says, Write a 100 story about a character who experiences a hectic day. Now I'm going to discuss the key things to note if you are asked to write a prompt like this. Okay, so let's get started. The very first one is understanding the instructions. So in this case, things to note, you need to understand the instructions that has been given. Now, in this case, we have been asked to uh, write a 100 word story about a character who experiences a hectic day. And of course, we need to stick to this. Now, in understanding this particular uh, kind of uh, writing, remember, it is 100 word. In this case, we are sticking uh to flash story and in the flash story you need to start from the middle of the story because there's really no time no time to start going uh you know all from the beginning or looking for different things to say before you hit the nail on the head so you need to be quick about it it's a short it is a flash it is quickly 100 words I mean, it's little, so you need to be very careful about the choice of words you'll be using in order for us to write a very good story in this regard. The next one is the word counts. As it says, 100 word story, 100 word story, it should not exceed it. Uh, I made a video on the best apps for writers, and so you can watch that video. Yes, because in that video, I spoke about some hubs that are very good for writers now in some of those hubs you can actually check your word count you can check out the link in the description box of this video or you can check out the link that i'll be showing you right now on the screen and next one is the prompt you need to understand the prompt clearly okay you need to understand the prompt clearly and like we already have you need to look at the prompt again to understand what it entails so we have been given something to work on a character who experiences a hectic day and you need to stick to that you don't need to write something that is outside that you need to your story needs to be in line with the prompt now the elements okay a story elements yes i made a video about understanding the story elements and you can check out the video the link is on the description box of this video or you can check the screen to also watch that video to understand the elements of a story the very first part there is character now in this case they didn't really give us a name they did not give us a gender that's okay but at least we have been told that it involves a character so you can come up with a character name or the gender of that character okay the next one we're going to look at is the the voice the mood and the tone so how do you want to present your work how do you want to present your work so what tone will you be using and of course how do you want your readers to feel about the work which is the mood and then what voice are we going to be using here is it the writer's voice which is you or is it your character's voice or maybe a narrator's voice so you determine and look at all of these things and now we have the point of view now what point of view will you be using is it the first person the second person or the third person point of view you need to put all of these things in place and ensure that whatever point of view you're picking is really really going to uh, make a whole lot of sense by the time you're done writing your story I hope uh, this is clear and of course let's look at the setting all right so what setting are we looking at since they didn't really give us a setting but then we can come up with some things since it's a hectic day we can come up with maybe uh scenes or places where you know your character may have really really experienced some uh, hectic moments okay those are things you can do now let's look at the 
title. What kind of title will you give to this? It has to be compelling and interesting. And one thing again is your title should be relatable. Okay, it should be relatable to an extent. Now the plant hints, like they've given us something to work with. So this is not to say we just have to think of anything. They have told us that your character experiences a hectic day, you need to write it. So you have to stick with the plot, a uh, 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 hint they've given to Ross. So you need to write something in regards to the prompt, in regards to that area. Now let's look at the area of focus or idea. So yeah, I'm going to share a few things that you can actually do. Remember it's a 100 word story. So at this point in time, you'll need to really cut down some backstories. Okay. You have to stick to the moment in time. All right. Um, it will also be good if you tell us one or two things about your characters, but at the same time, try not to, you know, write too much about it because you need to manage your word count okay now let us also feel your character remember the character is experiencing what a hectic day so let us feel that your character is exhausted or tired or frustrated okay let us feel it even if it's maybe a routine by your character but then we are just getting to know your character right so let us feel these things in your story and in this point you really do not need to say too much okay just ensure you pick a moment all right a moment and of course let us really really invest our time in your story now the writing rules and vocabulary yes for your vocabulary it has to be compelling of course you need to try to at least uh, proofread your work to an extent you need to try and proofread your work to an extent cut down adverbs cut down filia filter words check out your spellings check out your tenses these things are very very important and of course check out the writing rules so even though you are writing for any other uh, maybe another writing challenge elsewhere always look at the writing rules and what you are asked to do and then we go over to finishing now you have written your work do you stop there no you can you know rewrite and write it over and over again to ensure you get the best the very very best now check out everything you need to check out from the opening line to the you know closing line okay check out your sentence see if it makes a whole lot of sense okay and then your delivery now the delivery here yeah, you know it depends on presentation what you are asked to do now always try your best try your best to make a good presentation okay a good delivery because of course uh, when you make that good delivery you are going to leave a memorable impression in the hearts of your readers now let's dive in into the stories all right are we ready let's go very first story here um, written by Uju and the title is single stress uh, well for me uh, although the title is not as catchy uh, as I expected but then we have to look at the content itself to see it's a good attempt but I feel that uh, you know a little more would have really helped okay a little more now for this entire story i feel that this writer actually did more of a summary i couldn't really um understand or connect with the character okay uh, the character is dima so i couldn't really connect with her uh, in as much as this writer was trying to bring out the daily routine of this character i just feel that some things we are you know missing i feel there was some information that didn't need to be there i also feel like the focus was you know all over the place now if she had actually focused on one thing 
one area, then fine. I know she was trying to um, give us information about this character in terms of what the character does. The character is a digital marketing guru. Uh, that's a very good attempt, but I just feel that the entire story was not well organized. Okay, wasn't well organized. And I was really expecting something like a twist or a little bit of surprise or maybe something cool to, you know, end the story. But she ended by giving us, telling us rather, that the character is a digital marketing guru. I feel like this particular ending maybe should have been like the beginning or somehow. Okay, so. I just feel like this writer should work more on uh, coordination, all right? Should work more on, you know, coordination, coordination of story. You know, there's a way it flows from one point to another point, and of course, the last uh, point. Look at Elizabeth's story. Um, the title is Life is for the Living. Well, let's see if this content is going to match with these. I feel that this is a little bit better, okay? Um, it's cool. It's cool at least and then of course, let's see what the story is all about Okay, um, I like the fact that uh, this writer tried to You know make one or two descriptions trying to paint a scenario for us All right, I I like that and I like that um, the character here already has a name and I like that she spoke a little about the character, like gave us one or two features about this character. All right. And I just, I love the fact that she focused on one area. Like she didn't take us too much into different, uh, places. Okay. And he, and she also made us feel the character stress because at some point she even went as far as, um, describing what the character was feeling. Like his, his forehead was covered okay the whole time and wiped his oily face down so she was just trying to tell us how it felt at that point and yes the title came from the statement that was made which i feel it's it's good this writer really tried and then and um, finished it off to the end now you would ex this is one of the very beautiful things i love he then he does love i i love this part because yes you really showing to us that this uh character really really experience a hectic day so i feel this really has you know has done well of course there's room for improvement this writer also tried all right she also made us to experience uh, nana's hectic day and moment and one thing i really like again about the story i appreciate the writer is um she tried to really make us feel how stressful um nana had been that for a day by even telling us about the crack she had on her back okay i i kind of like uh i laughed when i got to this point and which is quite okay all right so i could feel something all right i could feel something like i could connect a little with the character but what i'm going to tell this particular writer is um sometimes just try to call down certain words so that you can, you know, that particular words you've cut down, you can put in other words there, all right? There are certain words you can just cut down and then focus on maybe other key areas to still beautify your story, all right? So well done, uh, for La Kemi. This one is from Angela, okay? What a headache day for James, okay? Then let's see how it's headache it is for James. So this particular writer has really, you know, um, expressed how James woke up that Monday money, all right? And then, of course, there's been a lot of appointments and only to get to work. And it says that traffic, that's before he got to work, the traffic has, you know, come. And then on getting to the work again, uh, the secretary and all find out that the secretary is sick and all of that and then he had to handle a lot of jobs so i could relate to this because i i could relate to this anyway uh the story is cool uh this is because this particular writer was able to make us see you know flow with the routine flow with the story from one point to another and then the end point so 
we're able to flow with this story and i feel um this writer really really tried it's a very good attempt well done okay this story is written by amaka yadiba all right and um one of the things that got me fascinated about the story is this writer used a second person pov and i am someone who really really i i tend to really love writers who use a second person pov the second person pov is quite challenging especially if you maybe you're not an expert you are just a beginner and this writer did great to me the writer did great is a very good attempt i i really felt the story i felt like i was the one even um you know i was the one experiencing the whole um hectic day by this um character okay so i, I it's cool and i love the fact that she she threw in one or two things or information but still she tried to maintain the entire story without you know getting us too distracted and the ending is okay too well done now the story is written by precious all right and the title is a daisy now she really tried okay it's a good attempt but i feel that she shouldn't have summarized all of these things she could have just picked a scene or a scenario and of course let us connect with a daisy okay let's connect with her let's feel our own emotions let's see what she's feeling in regards to the hectic day she has experienced but in this case she tried to this writer tried to you know summarize a lot happening in the life of a daisy okay and i feel that wasn't um needed could have cut down all of those uh things all right and then the aspect of um yuna saying will she find time to do her studies today uh, well i i just feel that those things aren't really necessary so in this aspect i would uh, suggest this writer to always go back over and over again to uh, proofread before submitting to tell me what you think about the stories let me know your opinions about them but do not forget to subscribe you need to subscribe if you haven't subscribed you need to subscribe and of course drop your comment let's know what you think about the entire video and then point out that story that has won your heart okay and do not forget a comment is enough you don't need to you know repeat your comments all the time you don't need that just a comment is enough and you can watch these videos over 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 and over again and you can check the video you can share the link to friends and family so that they can also come here to watch drop their opinions and of course subscribe thank you very very much uh for watching uh the videos thank you so much for watching this video and of course the other videos on the channel thank you